Let's talk about string constants. Uh, string constants are enclosed in double quote marks, not single quote marks. Single quote mark means something else in mumps. Uh, a double quote mark itself can be inserted into a string by placing two immediately adjacent double quote marks. This is the way older languages used to do it. I believe Fortran did it this way, PL1 does it this way, and so forth. There is no backslash in front of the, uh, the, the double quote mark, uh, as there would be in C or C++, or Java for that matter. Um, the single quote mark is the not operator, and, and so we don't play with that. No backslash. If you, wanna, if you want to have a double quote within a quoted field, it's two immediately adjacent double quotes, and that will be interpreted as a single um, double quote. Um, here are some examples. Um, um, there's a string, the C's divide and many a tide, surrounded by double quotes, it's a string. Um, you can quote numbers, like you see here, 123.45 in quotes. It the, means the same, however, as 123.45. Numbers do not need to be quoted unless you want to preserve leading zeros or some something like that, because uh, if, they're, if they're a regular number, it will, it will eliminate the leading zeros. Um, here's an example where we have a single quote mark within a quoted string. Bridget O'Shaughnessy, you're making that up. Um, notice the single quote here in the O'Shaughnessy. Notice there's no backslash in front of it. Single quote has no special meaning inside of a quoted string. It's just another character as far as the system is concerned. It's the double quotes that count. Once you're into the double quoted field, um, the only thing it's looking for really is another double quote. Uh, Here's a case where we want to have embedded double quotes. So at the beginning of the time has come, the walrus said, at the beginning of it here, when we quote out the time has come, what we want to have is quote, the time has come, comma, quote. So in order to do that, at the beginning, we have three double quotes. The first one, of course, introduces the string. The next two introduce or cause a single quote to be inserted into the text. So we have, we have three at the beginning. One starts the string. And then we've got two to indicate we want one quote at this point. At the end of the phrase, the time has come, comma, we have two double quotes, and um, that will be interpreted as a single quote. Then finally, at the end, we have the double quote indicating the end of the string. This sort of thing here is wrong. Um, quote, backslash, quote. That would, be, that would be interpreted as an error, because the backslash in, it would be interpreted as a string consisting of the backslash. Of the, then it would look at the T, and it would say, what's this? Um, it's not considered part of the string. So if you want to have a, an embedded quote, it's two uh, double quotes, no backslash. This kind of thing here with a single quote in, enveloping it, like you might use, for example, in SQL, not allowed. It would get very confused very quickly. Numeric constants are um, pretty much what you expect. <coughs> They're numbers, uh, they can have um, plus and minus signs, um, they can have decimal points, uh, they can be quoted if you want, but uh, they don't have to be quoted unless, you, as I said, you want leading zeros to be preserved. Um, the question of limits of accuracy depends upon, depends upon the implementation or implementation parameters. Uh, in my version of MUMPS, uh, I use the extended precision software packages and there is effectively no upper limit on precision. Well, there is, it's the amount of memory you've got. Uh, I don't know how the others uh, deal with, uh, with extended precision, usually quite well, usually very, very extensively. Um, some of them use scientific notation that's permitted. It, it, scientific notation would be you know, 1.23e plus one, uh, that, that sort of notation. It generally has to be quoted though. Uh, Mixed strings and um, and constants. Um, Mumps has a particularly odd way of uh, handling. Um, you can have you, you can have strings that contain both numbers and characters, uh, and if they're used with numeric operators, it performs an interpretation on what to do. Um, so if I have uh, one plus two, that's going to be evaluated as three. If I have ABC plus 2, perfectly legal expression, it looks weird, but it's legal, it's going to be evaluated as 2 because the, the quoted field ABC isn't numeric. So it says, okay, it's 0. Um, strings that don't have a numeric interpretation <coughs> are treated as 0. Now this one here, quote 1ABC plus 2, 
that is interpreted um, as one. Uh, because if a string begins with digits, uh, it will play along until it finds a non-digit character, in which case the for leading portion, the leading numeric portion, becomes the value of the string. So in this case here, 1abc is interpreted as 1, and the answer is 3. However, the opposite, aa1, as a string, is not interpreted, it's interpreted as a 0, because it's just not a leading number. So if it's got leading digits, they will be interpreted um, in a numeric operation, and we're talking about addition here, the numeric operation, they will be, the leading digits will participate. Trailing digits don't. Um, in this case here, I've got quote one, quote plus, quote two, quote. Two quoted string numbers interpreted as three, no problem. Uh, the empty string is interpreted as zero, not surprisingly. Um, if, I have the, if I have the string uh, minus one, two, a, b, okay, in quotes, and I put a unary plus sign in front of it. Now, the unary plus sign is a numeric operator. It doesn't really do much. <clears throat> but what it does in this context is it forces a numeric interpretation on what follows it. And so, therefore, it pulls off the one, two, the, the minus one, two. So the interpretation of this is minus 12. The AB is lost, and the plus doesn't do anything. But it does force a numeric interpretation. Now, here's an example of exponential notation. Plus, and then we have the string 123.45e to the fourth. Uh, that's the power of 10. And that would be, um, that would be interpreted if it, just as a string, it, it's a string. It it's, has no numeric significance until you use it with a numeric operator. But if I were to say write out this quoted string, it would write out the quoted string as you see it. If I want to see it as a numeric value, I would have to force an interpretation, so putting the plus sign in front of it and then writing it out, uh, it would write out as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0, 0. Uh, that's, a num that's the numeric interpretation of this exponential string. Logical values are special cases of string. A numer numeric value of 0 uh, and any a string beginning with a non-numeric character or a string of length 0 is false. So 0 is false. If you've got a string that begins with an, uh, a non-numeric, that's going to be interpreted as zero as well. An empty string is interpreted as zero. So any one of those is false. Anything, any other value is considered true. One is true. A string that begins with leading digits is true. Uh, so yeah, the operations, the logical operations produce, as you would expect, zero and one. Zero for false and one for true. Here are some examples of logical expressions. One is true, zero is false. Uh, empty string, false. Um, quoted string A, false. 99, true. If it's used with a logical operator, um, it, it, it's considered true. 1A, true, the leading digit. 0, 0, 0, false. Value adds to zero. Minus 0, 0, 0, false. It's still zero. Uh, plus uh, 0, 0, 0, false. 0, 0, 0, 1, true. Those leading zeros are, are, are digits until it finds the one and says, oh, the value of this is one. Um, this is the, the not operator. It's the single quote. Not one is false. Not zero is true. Not the empty string. That's a weird looking one. Um, single quote, double quote, double quote. Um, uh, not, the, uh, 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 not the empty string is true. Uh, not the string A is true, and so forth. So basically, it's the reverse of everything you saw up above if you put the not in front of it.